Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Robert Thirsk, a Canadian astronaut and member of the Professional Engineers of Ontario. Greetings from the International Space Station. I wish I could be there with you this evening to celebrate this gala event, but I'm currently orbiting 350 kilometers above you, traveling at a speed of 28,000 kilometers per hour. So the commute would be a little difficult. I'm pleased that you are commemorating Canadian aeronautical engineering accomplishments by remembering the 100th anniversary of the flight of the Silver Dart and the 50th anniversary of the Avro Arrow. This year also happens to be the 25th anniversary of a human space flight in Canada. Canada has long been recognized for our aerospace innovations. This year is no exception. For example, in mid-September, I had the opportunity to witness Canada's technological prowess up close. Our space robotics were put to the test when, for the first time, Canadarm2 captured a free-flying spacecraft. This nerve-wracking maneuver involved the debut flight of the Japanese cargo vehicle named HTV. On September 17th, the station and HTV were flying in formation at 8 kilometers per second, 10 meters apart. At the controls of Canadarm2, uh, my crewmate Nicole Stott had just 99 seconds to safely grapple HTV before its flight parameters were considered too risky to proceed. After Nicole expertly completed this capture, I used our robot arm to maneuver HTV towards its docking port and then berthed it to the station. During the following weeks, my crewmates and I unloaded four and a half tons of cargo from HTV including food, essential supplies, and a variety of scientific equipment. When its mission was completed in late October, we loaded HTV with used cargo for disposal and released it. HTV followed a controlled path to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This first mission of HTV ushered in a new era of automated spaceships. And this first mission was truly an example of international cooperation a Japanese spacecraft captured with a Canadian robot arm operated by American and European astronauts with a guy from Canada. That would be me, under a Russian commander. Now that's international cooperation. The International Space Station is nearly complete. The role of this orbiting outpost is now changing significantly. The station is becoming a unique world-class research facility. And the role of our robotic systems will transition from building the station to supporting its maintenance. Once the space shuttle retires in 2010, cargo ships will play a bigger role in resupplying our station with scientific payloads and essential supplies for the six-person crew living on board. While Russia's Progress and Europe's ATV vehicles are programmed to automatically dock themselves to the space station, all other cargo ships will be captured and berthed by Canadarm2. Congratulations to all OPEA award winners for 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your evening. I suspect your dinner is going to be better than mine. From the International Space Station, best wishes to all.